Welcome back to the garage. Welcome to 2022. I hope you guys started off your New Year's right. Uh, I started my year, New Year's off by getting a Corvette in the garage. So we are going to be doing some brake upgrades to the Corvette. So over here, sitting over there, you can kind of see I got my uh, TRZ manual brake master cylinder. So that's what we're going to be working on today. So I'm going to get you guys set up and uh, we're going to get busy on that. So this will be like a, a how-to. I'm going to try and show you where all the bolts are and what it goes into it. And we're going to make brake lines and we're going to do all kinds of fun stuff. So let's, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so here's what we got. Now remember, this is how to remove your master cylinder and your brake booster from a C5 Corvette. Okay, what you need is a long extension. This is 12 inch, this is a 12 inch 3 inch drive extension. Extension. You need a 15 millimeter to remove the nuts off of here. They look very, these are the, these are the brake booster nuts, but they look very similar to that. They need a flathead screwdriver. Uh, I like the a little bit longer one, but you can use like a pocket screwdriver, pretty much whatever you have. And this is the clip that you're going to be taking off. Now you can see how it's got that little little ledge right there. You have to pry that ledge up and over the tip of this. Now I wish I could have shown you this to this to you guys, but there just really wasn't enough room for camera lighting and you know my my big self so not a bad job you know this took me with moving the camera around and messing around and everything else it took me about an hour to take it out now going in is a little different story because like i said we got to make brake lines um and it's actually a two-person job so take note of that 15 millimeter socket definitely a wobble that's what i call a wobble universal socket um you can get if you if you're fancy and you get the wobble socket with the socket built into it that'll work but any open socket and 3 8 wobble 12 inch, 12 inch extension and i highly recommend uh an electric 3 8 impact gun uh this is a snap on one you don't have to have a snap on one any of them will work milwaukee dewalt harbor freight it doesn't matter so like i said i know it sounded a little scary coming off of there um, but this is a, this is it. I mean, it was just this gasket and it was just stuck there. I mean, like, I guess it's a tight fit. You can kind of see right here where, you know, some of the aluminum kind of got scuffed by the, the threads, but it was just in there really tight. So I don't know if it was misaligned or whatever. I mean, usually when stuff like that happens, I rack that up to, uh, like leakage here, but this is just grease. So, and there was no other indication that. Uh, brake fluid was you know or anything was leaking back there like you know my master cylinders clean there's nothing under there just a little bit of installation grease and that's it so you know like I said pedal this pin goes right here in the rod sorry guys my camera skills will stink a little but anyway so pin four nuts two nuts two essentially nuts and uh, a little bit of elbow grease don't forget your your vacuum fitting here and you can take this out so I'm gonna pause here and I'm going to get, try to get everything set up so we can have a smooth installation of the TRZ kit so hang tight guys and we will be back all right so we are going to get started we're gonna try and suck out all the brake fluid in the in the master cylinder here try to minimize any of the mess that we're gonna make mess that we're gonna make uh, then I'm going to break this line, this line, and this line. Got to work on my pointing skills. Uh, we're going to break them loose. Um, we're going to unbolt the master cylinder. Try, I'm going to try to do my best to not make a mess, right? Like, unfortunately, that's something I'm really good at is making a mess. And uh, we're going to try to avoid that because... Uh, you know, I just don't want to brake fluid dripping all over the place. So 
Let me get you guys all set up here. And then once, once we do that, uh, if you can see down here, there's a bolt there. There's a bolt down there, and then that'll break the master cylinder free. And then we have to, we're, I'm just gonna, for right now, I'm just gonna take this vacuum line off. Uh, just, and then I'm gonna push it to the side. We'll have to get our hands back there behind the intake manifold and uh, pull that thing off and cap it. Uh, I think I have some silicone caps that'll fit. I'll show you that, or I'll show you that the best I can. It's, it's way back there. And I might even take this, uh, take this plastic cowl off uh, to make it a little easier because uh, something you guys haven't seen and hasn't been on the car yet, uh, but this used to have a Holly High Ram on it, so my cow is cut for that. So it might make it a little easier for me to get back there and uh, and get that vacuum line disconnected. But then I'm going to take you guys under the dash, and then there should be four bolts that hold this on, which is the vacuum booster, which is what we're trying to get rid of. And then we'll go over how to or how I'm going to install the TRZ manual brake master cylinder kit, which uh, in all honesty, is is just really just some hardware, this aluminum plate that makes the difference up between that and then a, a strange like off-the-shelf master cylinder. So uh, I got to figure out the brake lines, right? Because they TR or yeah TRZ sends you these half twenty inverted flare fittings to three sixteenths brake line, but from the factory, uh, everything up here is quarter inch brake line. So this is where the how-to is probably going to stop. Uh, for a lot of you guys that have like more stock Corvettes, um, you know, you, and this part you'll have to figure out on your own. But I'll show you some tools and some methods and stuff that hopefully make that process a little easier. Um, this is my line lock, so this is not stock uh, to anybody that has a C5. Um, uh, if anybody needs it, I do have the part number for the line lock solenoid that I used, um, but the rest of it is just you know is just fittings this is a single flare fitting um these are the metric bubble flare fittings down here on this master cylinder but we'll, we'll talk about we'll talk about that as we get going um you know and i'll, and I'll show you some of that and we're even going to do some of those flares so i'll you know like i said we'll go over the tools and everything else like that so i'm going to try to get you guys set up somewhere where you can kind of see what i'm doing and at some point you know when i get there i'll take you to uh, i'll take you under the dash and try to show you where some of these bolts are i'm probably gonna have to get some help because to tighten these four bolts up on this um i gotta have somebody on the outside holding the bolt while i tighten the nut up so um we're gonna have to get some assistance on that now there's a little bit left in the front of the master cylinder there's not much i can do about that so but the uh the front there we got all that or got as much of it as I can anyway. So I'm gonna go ditch this brake fluid. And we're gonna break these line loose, lines loose, and we're gonna get busy. For anyone that needed to know, this little suction tool is an OTC 2359. So I'm not sponsored by them. I have no affiliation whatsoever. It's just a tool that I use to try to help me avoid making a giant mess while I'm working on stuff. So just in case you need it. So right now I'm just trying to get all my wrenches and everything hooked together. For you can see for you know for you guys that uh, have factory cars and stuff, make sure you got your your level sensor hooked up and the fitting now you should be using a line wrench for some reason I can't find mine I think they might be in the trailer but these factory fittings are 13 millimeter so now this part this line is a little different because I built myself my own line lock kit which I think I mentioned earlier so you know you guys will have your own setup so like I have the washer bottle removed because my fuel pressure regulator is there but everything past this, like this is a factory line, the distribution block down there, yeah, right down there, so that's all factory, so that all should be the same. So we got a thir two 13s for the lines, and the master cylinder is a 15. So this is, you know, this part of the job is fairly easy. So like I said, two, 
two 13s, two 15s, and your master cylinder will come off the car. Like I said, guys, you really, we'll see if this works out for me, but okay, that's one. Like I said, you really should be using a line wrench for this. For instance, it's just like that. But anyway, I got lucky, nothing stripped, so we're gonna go ahead and take that out. I'm gonna drop a rag down in there, hopefully catch any brake fluid that falls out. So guys, this might end up being kind of like a, a part one and a part two. Uh, only for the simple fact that uh, I ordered uh, fittings that didn't work. So the, when you order the TRZ kit, they come with this fitting, which it's a half 20 inverted flare and then a regular 3 16 uh, brake line fitting, double flare. Uh, I don't know what size or what thread that is. I need to figure it out though um, because all of your factory lines on a C5 are quarter inch in diameter. So the 3 16 doesn't work for me. now. You have a couple different things that you could do here. Yeah, you know, there's a couple different ways you could go, right? So you could use the three sixteenths, and you know, and find uh, you know different adapters or whatever, you know, to to get down to three sixteenths. Like this front line, right, that goes to my line lock over here. The line lock is eighth inch NPT. So I could take this out put a eighth inch NPT to 3AN instead of 4AN adapter, because this is a tube nut. I don't know if you guys have seen those. We might make some, depending on which route I go. Um, you know, so you could do that. If you guys are still running, all right, see, we're getting a little bit of fluid leakage now, so. All right, so we got that one loose. Um, if you guys are running all factory ABS and everything else, which, if you're doing a manual brake conversion, I'm assuming you're not, you could switch out the rest of the car uh, to, to 3 a.m. So we're gonna travel over here and get my, my 15 millimeter wrench. Um, you know, and change the car to, th to, to uh, 3 16 So let me get you guys set up over here. Excuse the uh, the terrible camera work, guys. I gotta make sure that I get you guys something to look at, and I still gotta get a job done, so hang tight. So anyway, like I said, like you got some different options. Let's bust this off. Just in case you guys happen to notice, this brake line, the one that I made that goes to my uh, my line lock solenoid is, you know, if you're wondering like, why is that brake line so shiny? This is a stainless line that I made out of like some bulk tubing or whatever. So that's why that looks the way it does. Set him over there. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and move this so it doesn't get shit. So anyway, as, as long story short, if you can handle my Rambletron, um, as far as the brake line goes, it just depends on your setup. You're gonna have to figure it out. Uh, brake lines are fairly easy to make, and the tools are relatively inexpensive. You know, you can buy uh, a hydraulic tool like I have, which is you know a little on the fancier side, um, or you can buy. And don't forget to uh, take out your vacuum hose for your booster. That'll be for the booster section, but it also helps to get it out of the way so you can get to this nut here. And like I said, we're unbolting this, this bolt right here for anybody that needs that guy right there. Let's get a little better light on it. Boom. So you got one, two, 
three, four connections and an electrical connect connection. And your master cylinder will be off your C5 Corvette. And we'll go over the we'll go over bleeding and everything else. So hang hang with me. Tip it up so you stop the fluid leak, and that's it, guys. That's all it takes. Now, like I said, your your cars might be slightly different because uh, you know your cars might be stock or they might be modified a little different than me. Um, just depends, but that part of it is pretty pretty easy. And uh, other than jacking a car up, right? Because now we're gonna have to bleed off four wheels. Um, you know, that's really it, right? So if you can bleed brakes, you can do a master cylinder in a Corvette. It's not a big deal. So, like I said, we have our our vacuum disconnect, which I'm gonna have to pull that off the back of the intake manifold and cap that. We're just gonna use a regular silicone cap for that. We're gonna get rid of this oily rag. I'm gonna clean it up. Looks like we dripped a little brake fluid, so I'm gonna get some brake clean. Right here to the left of your brake pedal. You can see in the like the upper left hand corner of this bracket there's like a goldish looking nut. Well there's four of them and they're in a square pattern. So you can kind of see, let me adjust the light a little bit. There you go. So you can kind of see there's the top and the bottom of the left hand side and then there's the brake pedal and you can kind of see I have my Hang on. Let me move this thing right here a little bit. Things get stuck to my magnet. Let's back it up here a little bit. So there's my extension. That is a ooh, it's a 12 or 14 inch 3 8 extension right there. I use that in a wobble socket to uh, to get past. That's probably the most difficult one is because you have the steering column and you have the brake pedal or the yeah the brake pedal bracket back in there there's a lot of stuff in there and also you can see i unhooked the steering sensor right there that little gray connector that's just a little grab it pinch it together and pull it out um and then while i'm down here i'll just show you this because i'm kind of proud of this is this right here that little thing that is my throttle pedal and you're gonna be like hey that looks different than uh, a factory one you're because and you would be right that is the drive-by cable pedal that I make for a c5 Corvette so if you need one give me a shout we'll try to figure it out don't, don't and by the way don't give me a shout because you're in a hurry for one because that that ain't happening my friend so but anyway uh, yeah, so I'm going to zip these nuts off. I'll show you what the nuts look like outside of camera. Um, I'm not going to be able to show you the me taking them apart. If I did everything right, I'm going to pull this brake master cylinder out. Uh, brake booster. So hang tight. Hold on, let me get you repositioned here, right? This could be the grand finale right here. Okay, so... We got it out now, and I gotta be honest with you guys, I have never had a brake booster fight me like that, trying to come out. Now, I know in some of that, it sounded bad, right? right? Like it sounded like I was gonna rip the whole firewall off, but as you can see, other than, you know, a couple scratches from me working it back and forth. And that's exactly what I did. I just worked it back and forth. This is gasket material. It's just a gasket that they use to kind of keep, you know, air and stuff out of the cab. There's no damage to this. So it is just the four bolts. Whew. But I'm telling you, that was a workout, guys. I had to, I had to turn you off there a little bit. There was some, uh, 
some explicatives that came out. That was hardcore. But I went and checked a couple times. That's it, man. It's just those four bolt or those four nuts. I think another big benefit of doing this. Look how much space is back there. I mean, there is a ton. So this should make working on uh, doing spark plugs and working on this side of the motor much easier. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm never gonna tell you to like and subscribe because that's not how I that's not how I do things. If you uh, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe. If you don't, don't. It don't matter because I'm gonna keep doing it. So thank you again and uh, look for part two of the TRZ installation. See ya.